So we're ready for uh, another test round of the uh, BPM2 and uh, essentially we'll do Today this is uh, the uh, second round of tests on the BPM2 engine and uh, the, real, the, the purpose of these tests uh, are to evaluate the different uh, compositions of, of propellants. So uh, we are sort of picking up where we left off last week uh, or the week before last with the, the TS testing and uh, today we are going to do a ser series of runs with different uh, combinations sort of to, to map out the, the uh, the different uh, approaches or the different um, combinations of both the mixture ratios and uh, uh, combustion pressures and uh, flow rates and all to, to, to simply uh, make sure that we cover all the bases to give a fair evaluation of how well TS performs. Hell no locks, bro. So now we just completed uh, the third burn of the day and this was a combination where we uh, used uh, the TOS additive uh, with pure ethanol as, as, the, uh, as the main uh, constituent. So we had 99% ethanol and 1% TOS additive. And um, as we see the, the burns here progress nominally. Uh, we're going to do probably three or four more today. Uh, different combinations of, of uh, ethanol, H2O and, and TOS in different, uh, in different mixture ratios. And then we're going to shift and do a, a couple of tests where we, uh, we add a, a sort of a staged initiation of the burn or pre-staging. Uh, and this is a, a test of uh, both the test stand of the end of, uh, of that startup process, uh, which will be used for the BPM5 test in, in the next week.
So we concluded the uh, test series of the day with uh, with nine good burns uh, of different uh, propellant variations and uh, different lengths. And uh, from the initial uh, quick look at the data, we can conclude now that uh, the TS experiments have, have seemed to be uh, to yield the results we had hoped for. And we've uh, completed the qualification of the test stand to uh, to uh, allow longer burn periods with uh, with the BPM5 motor coming up in the in the next weeks or so. So based on on the the last segment of these tests, we now know uh, how to operate the test stand with uh, uh, throttling and pre-staging, which are also uh, features that will be needed when uh, when operating the BPM5 engine. So all in all. A very successful day, uh, a lot of good results, and most importantly, it means that we're now finally ready to run the BPM-5.